What's up guys and welcome to a video on how to fix the Rage plugin hook uh, error that says insufficient permissions but the average video when you search this up it tells you when you go to your game directory this is my steam directory Got out of five see I only have one folder right average videos that you search up to fix this problem will say well, they'll have like two folders, but I never did that because I don't know probably would have been better if I did do it But I never did and I have the problem still and Well, I only have one folder so they just tell you if you have two folders to make the one with the mods or the one with the rage plugin hook The proper name and then rename the other one something else But if you only have one folder You can't exactly fix that. So you're sitting here wondering why the hell your rage plugin is plugin is having the same error but like everyone else is having a different reason for it. So I found a fix for this. So let me open up my Rage plugin hook right now. So basically what will happen is when you opened it, it would load into your game and then, okay, so actually backtrack a little bit. When the new update for Grand Theft Auto V came out, a new version of Rage Hook came out and it said the new Rage plugin hook will support the new version. Well, so most people, what I did also is what probably you did too, he said download and install automatically. He would install the new Rage plugin hook and then you would go to general. I don't, I don't can I, is there a way for me to check it? Um, hold on. Uh, let me go like this. One sec. Let this load up if it wants to. Okay, continue with updating. Here, perfect. So you'd go to game settings, you'd go under here and see it would say supported for the new for the with the new bridge plugin hook that you downloaded without realizing it was wrong. It would say it would support it would support this and it supported the older version. And you were active on this one, and then even if you went and activated on this one, it said it supported it, but every time you loaded up you didn't change anything else to your game, so you're wondering why you're getting that error. Well, basically, they're lying to you. Um, this, the new version of the launcher, doesn't support the old version. If you, to fix this, basically, to, because you probably are on this version, so to revert back to the old launcher, you need to go to Google and search up ragepluginhook.net. All oh, my YouTube notifications, great. And so once you're on this page, go to Downloads. And see, this is the latest uh, Rage plugin hook, and it says added support for game patch version 1290, which is the new one. And you see here on the website, it shows you removed support for the old patch. Well, since script hook hasn't come out with an update for that, you technically can't even play on the new version, so you have to revert back anyways. And, well, you're trying to play on the old one, and it's not working. So basically what you got to do is just this one here says added support for game patch. This is the last game patch so and then removes that one which doesn't really matter anyways so you probably don't play on that so then you want to download this one here because it adds it brings support back for this version 1180 which after you download that you simply it'll be a folder you drag on your desktop you extract it then you go to your directory where you normally have reach plugin hook and you simply just drag and drop and then when you load it up, what will happen, see, if I explain this bad, I apologize, I'm really bad at explaining things, but I haven't found anybody who has found a solution for this, so I thought it would be right to upload it, because I had this problem for the last, like, five days, and I don't know when the script hook's coming out on updates, so I feel like I should put it out there, and once you load it up, and you go into here, actually, let me reload it, so once you did that, and then you go to load it up again, what it's going to do is going to ask you uh, the installed version you have and the latest version of Rage Plugin Hook. And it's going to ask you every time you load it up now until you update. It's going to ask you to update it. So you're just going to hit continue without updating. And okay, yeah, that's not a problem. You hit okay. And it's going to start loading. Alright, so basically what would happen normally 
without you even knowing why it wasn't working, it would pop up around this point, it would say insufficient permissions. Now, if you did it right, you'll notice it says it'll go back to the corner and say enjoy and it'll disappear and your game will continue to load up. For right now, it's taking a really long time, I don't know why. And this should fix your issue. Um, this is what my issue was. A lot of people had the same issue because they only had one GTA 5 folder. So if I explain this horribly and you need help and you want like, I don't know, a written explanation on how to do this because I probably jumbled this up because I'm doing this off the top of my head, leave a comment because I don't get a lot of viewers obviously so I'm comments I'll reply to them instantly because there probably won't even be that many comments. So if you do have a problem and you want some help just simply drop a comment and uh, I'll respond as quickly as possible. I'm Eastern Standard Time so unless you're leaving a comment at 1 o'clock in the morning. Then I won't be able to reply until like the next day after school. But uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for it to load up just to show you that this is what does work. And if you have any compl complications, like I said, just make sure to let me know. I will probably know a fix, or at least I'll try and find a fix to your problem. Okay, great, my game crashed. This usually happens every time I try and load it up for the first time. In the day, my game just decides to crash. I don't know why. Alright guys, we're back. This is around the part where my game crashed, which is completely normal for me. Honestly, I'm used to it at this point. Um, so we're about to load in. And there you have it. See, we are loaded in. Rage plugin worked. We're gonna quickly just boot over to the oh, break. Um, Sandy Shores Sheriff's Department, real quick. As you see on the maps, the police stations are there and everything will work completely the same all your mods when you read like when you reinstall the old version of ridge plugin hook all your mods will stay it doesn't change any of those files you can literally just copy the whole ridge plugin hook folder and drop it into your gta5 di directory it won't change anything it'll keep everything the same it'll just change your rage plugin hook and then you can load up and just like this now I do make LSPDFR videos, so if you want to check those out, you always can just load into any car, I don't really care. You do want to check out those videos, just uh, go to my channel, subscribe, watch my videos. I do a lot of, uh, I do some LSPDFR, I have a couple videos saved for right now, I'm going to upload them eventually. And uh, I do, I just got Forza 7, just made an edit on that, it's going to be dropping that this week. I have uh, some other videos. You know, revolving around cars, mostly car stuff is what I do. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see, my game is loading on my plugins right now. Yep. As you see, it is working. Your rage plugin hook's working, everything's good. You have all your mods still, and uh, yeah. All right, like I said before, if you do have any issues, complications, or something, you know, you're curious, got a question or anything like that drop in the comments I will respond as soon as I can um, yep of course just yep talk over me yep talk over me that's cool appreciate it all right uh, as I was saying you know drop a comment if you have any questions anything like that I will respond as soon as I can to help you with those doesn't matter what it is don't be afraid to ask I will help you and uh, if this did help you this video please drop a like and subscribe and come back and watch some of my other videos and uh, thanks for watching